Folks, welcome back. My name is Rudy. You're watching Alpha Investments. We report the news in the cardboard world, the things that go up, the things that go down, the things that bamboozle. And when the random people not related to our card game make rule changes, we all feel good about ourselves because they have the authority over us. And remember, folks, life is a balance. It's an equilibrium, yin and yang. Every action, equal and opposite reaction. You cannot intervene. I apologize if this becomes a rant video. You cannot intervene into a multi-billion dollar marketplace and just call and expect not to have substantial collateral damage. So I wake up today with all you guys blowing up my inbox. <laughs> so the conversation now is Manavolt. After the shock waves continue to ripple through the system, we are now starting to see who is coming out ahead and where the flow of money is being rerouted to. Well, first thing, obviously, um, <laughs> First, if you're a Double Masters 2022 draft box or sealed collector box holder, congratulations, you're probably going to be winning in this fiasco because Manavolt has become the receiver of all of our hopes and dreams. I have never seen such an influx of capital into a single non reserve list card that I am seeing now. Ladies and gentlemen, revise third edition. Revised mana volts are becoming the price of a dual land. We have an 11, well actually, I guess it's Wheel of Fortune. We have a 12th card in revised that is going to be, I guess right now, if you don't want a dog bite, if you don't want taco stains, what, $150, $200? We have now the 12th card in revised at dual land pricing. We have Double Masters 2022. Not even talking about like Call Edition Benching, like crazy shit. Like we have Double Masters 2022. Mana Volts, 100 to 200 dollars. You have Mana Volt from Fallout, over a thousand. You, you. This is some wild shit, man. So what does all this mean? This reinforces when you interfere with a marketplace and you drop a ripple that's gonna just be. A tsunami of an impact. You fuck around, you find out. And, well, some people coordinate with Wizards of the Coast. They fucked around and a lot of people are really angry. A lot of people in stores lost a lot of money. And now this flow of money is just rerouting really quick to other cards. So, I don't know if this was planned. I don't know how smart these people are. I'm assuming, again, Rudy stands by. This was a pre meditated decision from this high-end committee of special people at the Ivory Tower with Wizards of the Coast for the last one to two years. This has been discussed and planned, and they felt the best time to drop this on us was a few days ago. Now, did they realize like Manavolt was going to be the receiver of all this glorious, shiny goo of happiness? What the fuck are we talking about? Did anybody plan that? I have no idea. But I can tell you right now, Sealed product that contains Mana Crypts and Jeweled Lotus, Commander Masters, Commander Legends. We're not seeing any downtick or substantial bearishness or dumping of the sealed product of these items. Now keep in mind the reason for that is not because of what's happening with Mana Crypt or Jeweled Lotus, but because these products already dumped and collapsed. Commander Masters already collapsed in the bear market because it was an overpriced shit product at release. And eventually, when we left the bear market, you know, the market was already flushed. So Commander Master's sealed product isn't really going to experience any downward pressure because it, it already happened. Once the market flushes out and everybody dumps it, you can't bring the dump back. You, you can't double dump. Is that a fucking word? Jesus Christ. You can't double dump. This is a fuck. I'm sorry. This video is terrible. But remember that when you consider being a patron. Because remember, I lost a bunch of patrons because everybody told me to F off for selling magic cards because I predicted Jewel Lowe's would be $20. So click the link below. I think there's still a couple of the slots left. Okay. So anyways, you can't double dump. On Commander Masters. It's already pre-dumped. People already flushed it out. There's nothing left to dump. We've all... I mean, we went to Taco Bell. We shared the toilet. And we've all dumped. There's nothing left. So, we're not going to see downward pressure on that. Okay? Commander Original, 2020. Commander Legends Draft Boxes. Not the Boulder's Gate bait and switch where they took Mana Drain out. God damn, they really have fucked us a lot. God, they really have bait and switched us a lot. And we just come back for more, don't we? Man, I feel like I'm having a moment with you guys. Man, I forgot about that. The Boulder's Gate. 
let's take let's take Mana Drain out, right? Was Mana Drain in Commander Legends one? Let's put it in Commander Legends two. No, no, no. Let's take it out last minute and then put it in the Master Set. Anyways, so I think now that we see the receiving success end of Mana Vault, again, full disclosure, um, <clears throat> I don't hold any modern Mana Vaults. Um, in ABU Revised, I hold a lot of Mana Vaults just because, well, it's ABU Revised. I used to be my Vintage Magic Playground. And to see Revised Mana Vaults that are not with like a dog bite or taco stains or inappropriate stickiness from the COVID era, to see these things, 100 to 200 dollars for a revived mana vault is wild. To see unlimited mana volts, well, if you can find them, unlimited mana volts are essentially gonna be 500 to 1,000 plus if you can find one in mint condition. I mean, you can get some damaged ones for probably three, 400 or something, but this is wild, absolutely wild. And then you come over and you look at what's going on, even the new stuff, like to see, like, I think, is this the most, is mana vault the most expensive modern card now? I think it is, right? Because if Mana Vault, on like Double Masters 2022, even the regular version is like 150 bucks. Is there, I don't know if there's, it, somebody comment below, is there another modern card they can reprint that's over 150 right now? I think that's the new king, right? Now, of course, people are going to argue, was this planned? Did they expect Mana Vault to be the receiver? Is this a side effect? It was their inside trading, I'm sorry, fruit running, as we used to say on this channel back in the early days of 2019, when these decisions and announcements came out was their front running. On this channel, we can't legally say front running. It's like the word guarantee. So we called it fruit running. Did they fruit run, you know, and pre-buy or pre-sell these things with these people who knew this? And when you have things that are this big of an impact to the market, I assure you, this kind of information was known by at least a very decent sized private group of people. Now, did they make transactions based on that? Most likely, my instinct would be probably. If I had 30 mana crypts of all these different versions, um, and I knew, and you know, each mana crypt, what, let's say $150, $200, I mean, shit, let's just say $200, if you have 30 mana crypts at $200, that's six grand, if your six grand was going to go down to one grand, yeah, you're probably going to fucking do something about it, you see what I'm saying, that's just human nature, that, you know, if you were involved with that, you'd be like, oh, shit, I've been, you know, this is a card world, this is not Wall Street, there's no SEC, it's just game pieces, remember that, game pieces are not regulated, so, other thing I want to touch on is, uh, I was trying to, all right, I'll touch on it. So a lot of you all messaged me in the last 24 hours regarding the Festival in a Box Part 2. Telling me it's further evidence of how premeditated this whole thing was. Well, Festival in a Box 2 had the new Mystery 2 convention box, but also included a sealed booster pack, collector pack, of Ixalan and Commander Masters. The two sets that are known with what? With what cards? Yes, the cards that were banned. So, out of all the magic sets to include with Festival in a Box, it is extraordinarily improbable that the two packs they would include right before this would happen from WotC, whatever reserve or warehouse, even if they sold 50,000 Festival in a Boxes, that's 50,000 packs of each one that they could flush out. That sounds like their leftover 5-10 pallet position is what it sounds like to me. Was this action made knowing that we need these two sets were anchored by big boys like you know the mana crypts and stuff? You know, I legally we don't know. Now, mathematically and statistically speaking, if wizards could predict the future that good, like aliens and lines on the wall and Rudy's background, if they are that good at predicting the future without knowing this in advance then, well, they should probably buy lottery tickets and just gamble and be a trillionaire and fly around in space and penis rockets, right? Because it looks really bad. So the all of these things continue to churn the market. People are angry. And again, the people who lost the most money with jewel lotuses and modern cards tend to be younger individuals who love and enjoy the fucking game. And there's nothing wrong with that. These are people who are the backbone of magic. And... You cannot sell high-end two, three, four hundred dollar boxes with cards of no value. You can't have it both in this world. You either get the fucking game pieces or you have expensive boxes. You can't sell people game pieces, make them expensive, and then slap them in the balls and run off with their wife. You can't do that. Maybe in Florida you can do that. You can't do that. Okay? So you can't have it both ways. Okay? And to remind you all, 
This is an eye-opening moment that corporations and the community, that nasty word, the community, that's used to lower your defense and make, you know, I, I, it's the community. They, they're here for me. I feel good, right? Fuck no! They don't care! Welcome to Alpha Investments. If you're new here, I tell you how it is. If you like me, that's great! We can hold hands. We can prancercise. We'll talk about how fast cars fly. We'll yell at it. We'll dig a hole. We'll be a carrot. Fuck it! But this is not... You need to understand the place of all this. Okay, this is a great moment to remind you all who live and spend your time on these platforms of Facebooks and Discords and Reddits and social medias and the Tinders and Twitter, for now known as the ex-porn thing, whatever. You know, when you spend your time and you trade the most valuable asset in the world, which is our time, on these platforms with your hands swiping and touching things, you are feeling that you're part of the community to keep an eye on what's going on. And this is, again, a reminder. The in-crowd approval this and that of all these... <laughs> they don't care about you. And there's nothing wrong with that as long as you understand it going into it. Rudy, I'm gonna, again, I've told you all secret things in the past. And I'm going to tell you another secret thing. Remember, Alpha Investments, we try to make money. I'm sorry I ruined some of you guys' hopes and dreams. Please don't spread that around. But remember, folks, this is an eye-opening, historical moment in magic. Because it's not that they banned cards. It's not that they weren't reserve lists. Even though you know Rudy, you got to take an opportunity to throw the reserve list. It's not that they nuked the expensive cards. It's not that they nuked Jewel Lotus, which is only good in one format, and they fucked. I mean, I, I get all that. But really, this is a story about the actions that were taken with one to two year knowledge that they knew this was coming and they premeditated selling and milking us for the cards they knew they were going to ban. That is the real story going on with these headlines. It has nothing to do with, yes, a lot of people specifically targeted younger people, people with less resources and younger people who are working hard at their jobs, they were the ones that are gonna take the biggest hit on this. And now the dust is settling, my giant sealed product position in Double Masters is hitting new highs. Okay, all my old mana vaults are hitting new highs. So again, the old fogies with vintage stuff, I'm not negatively impacted. But I'm telling you all, the real story here is not the banning of the cards, the playable, who bought them. It's the actions that were taken around this 12-month timeline, knowing what was coming. The festival in a box, seeding it with the two sets that lean on the banned cards, okay? Releasing the last master set that leaned on the banned cards, okay? Releasing certain, I mean, Ixalan. There's no serialized cards in Ixalan. It's Mana Crypt with special, they leaned and made a set about beautiful Chase Mana Crypts, knowingly, on the release date of that, which was literally a year ago, knowing they were gonna ban the card. These conversations were already happening and they went with it. That's the real conversation with what's going on. It's the probability of this not being premeditated and the probability of this being oopsie doopsie is just so improbable. It's like just saying Rudy's not really an alien or a meat popsicle. You all know it's fucking true. You know it did. They did it dirty. And it is what it is. And the worst part about this, like I said in the other video, is in six months, the short-term attention span of the American negative news cycle culture no one's going to care about this video. No one's going to watch it. Everyone's going to move on. And everyone's just going to be like, hey, I remember that time. I was upset. And that's the sad reality of what's going on. Okay. Pass that. If you want to buy magic from me, fuck it. $116 play boxes. And we got the Mega Source relaunch. If you want the new exclusive thing with fucking Frank Frazetta alternate art coming back. That's coming up next. And of course, yeah, did you see the new Weiss products coming up? And of course, Pokemon with the new Scarlet Violet going crazy. Yes, the new uh, Surging Spark stuff and whatever's coming up. A lot of exciting things coming up. And uh, thanks for watching the channel. And um, it is what it is, folks. It is what it is.